Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome once again to the Final Cut. I've got a documentary for you today. Yeah, I know, we're mixing it up quite a bit. We're not just indie horror around here, though we do love our indie horror. We also love our Wisconsin-made films, and that is what today's documentary is. It's Mom and Dad's Nipple Factory, brought to us by Justin Superstar Johnson, as he is credited. <laughs> and uh, Johnson gives us a story about his parents and the work he discovered they did in making uh, uh, false nipples uh, with adhesive and such that can be uh, used by those who have been uh, through the procedure of mastectomies. And uh, we see uh, the work that they do, the events that led up to that work, as well as getting this window into the relationship Justin has with his family and how having uh, conflicting faiths shouldn't keep you from seeing and helping the ones you love. Uh, yeah, this is this was a surprising documentary. I wasn't quite sure what to expect going into it. I mean, you know the initial story uh, of the work that uh, Justin's parents are doing, which is phenomenal work. It's, it's wonderful to see this uh, work done through a personal lens, you know, just he, he gives this wonderful personal touch to the look and the feel and and how this material is approached, you know, uh, the fact, too, that he gives us a window into uh, the family life that he had and how his beliefs differed with much of his family and how that caused conflict, as well as some other elements, but how they were able to look past that and get to the point where they are in the film in present day. Uh, yeah, it, it feels as much as a documentary about his family as it is about the work of his parents. Now, the, the it, it's well crafted the way this story plays out. It really sets up the emotions that you want for this. And, and yeah, it explores a lot of themes that I think and a lot of topics that really families run into every day, especially that of faith. You know, when you have a different belief than a good chunk of your family members, that does make the holidays interesting. Um, you know, and, and not always great. Uh, but, and that's the thing too, uh, there's no sugar coating here. At least I didn't feel that with this documentary as far as, you know, how he feels and how his uh, family initially felt at one time. And yeah, he it really gives this honest lens to his family and to uh, the nipple factory, which was fascinating. It was fascinating how his father came up with the idea for this and even more wonderful of how their work really caught on, had this organic growth to it and is to where it is today being a very successful, very meaningful business. And I will say the, the end of this documentary for sure was um, emotional. Uh, I did get my eyes teary just a little bit uh, by the end of it. So it was very effective. So Mom and Dad's Nipple Factory. It's, uh, it's. I believe it's going to get distribution soon. It was been making the festival runs, and you can see why. And yeah, keep an eye out for it, folks. If you like your documentaries that address uh, not only the main topic, but also take an exploration into themes of family, faith, love, uh, healthcare, uh, all those things, he kind of runs the gambit in this wonderfully natural flowing style uh, that, yeah, I, I much appreciate. So there you have it. Mom and Dad's Nipple Factory should be checked out where you can. Please uh, check out our interview, which we will have with the director posted later this week, uh, where I'm going to get a chance to talk uh, to the superstar, uh, Johnson, uh, about this film and what motivated him and more. So stay tuned for that. Like bells, whistles, and subscribe here. Help us get to 2,500 subscribers. I thank you for your support. And until next time, a remake. Remember, keep that ticket stub.